Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at very important topic of Power Automate management. So if you're working with Power Automate, so you must have seen that uh, your live flows or production flows sometimes must have uh, went into long running state or must have failed due to some logical error or some uh, environmental error. So you wish to run, rerun or resubmit those flow without going manually into the flows and clicking on resubmit. So we can do that by using Power Automate management actions. So I'll be showcasing that to you and why I am making this video because I recently got this face the same problem where my more than 500 instances failed just due to one unresponsive service and uh, it was a quiet task like if I go inside the flows and then resubmit them uh, so that they can run. So I created a simple flow which actually took care of all the uh, run, long running flows. They can it cancelled it and then resubmitted for the submissions for the reruns. So the same thing I'm going to share with you today. So I have one of the flow created already created. So I'll be taking this flow as, a, as an example that it's a long running flow. And I would like to cancel the instances of this flow and then resubmit. I'll be taking example of this flow. So you can see, so I have canceled these two instances earlier. Now let me just trigger this one so that we can see like our flow is running. I'll just run this instance. So let's say, let me just resubmit it so that it can be in running state. So it's in running state and I'll just do the same with other instance so that my two instances are in running state. So this is just demo so that's why I'm just showing with two running instances but my production flow actually were running were uh, just stuck into 500 instances at the same time. So it was a manual a big task to go and resubmit those flows. So there like we are going to use our power automate automation management so I'll be creating one instant cloud flow and uh, you can set that as manual if you wish to trigger that manually and in the next step as I said like because we are going to fetch our flows instances so we have to work with the HTTP request and the API uh, flow endpoints to access my flows so I'll be using HTTP with Azure ID invoke HTTP request. So when you click it, it will ask you for this connection. So the first screen you would see this one. So it will ask for base resource URL. So that is our API flow URL I'll be putting and this Azure AD resource URI. So I have noted that down into notepad. So these are base URL that api.flow.microsoft.com so you can just have that as base URL and Azure AD service URL is serviceflow.microsoft.com and because we are going to like access that over the cloud so you need not to use this gateways so I'm just signing in so once the connection is established then there are few Things we need to fill out the API call and their method. So method would be any time because we are going to extract the flow. So this is get method and URL of the request. So URL I am going to show you what the URL would be. So you can see like I have written this URL API flow Microsoft.com providers environment. So this first parameter which is this is environment name then slash flows then second parameter is this flow name and how to get environment and flow name I'll just show you and after that we have to because we want to extract the runs so slash runs and API version is this so this thing I'll paste in the description so that you can directly paste uh, so after that we have to pass on filter on the status because as I said I'll be picking up the running statuses so running statuses which are running from Past two or three are not going to reach into conclusion. So I'll be picking those instances. So that status equal to running. So this query, this API call, I am going to put over here. 
and as i said like how to get the environment name so if you just go to your flow the first thing if you see in url the first thing environment slash default so this is my environment name till this next slash flows so this is my environment name so you can copy this and the flow name would be slash flows after this this is the flow name before this slash details so this is my flow name so environment name and flow name we i am going to read from this url and you can also do a one action if you wish to uh, read the environment name dynamically then you can just put one more action over here so if i just go to write admin so you will get this action uh, this connection power automate management and over here you would able to find the details you you can simply say list my flow so this will give you the uh, all of your flow list so you can able to find out the each and every detail for your flow by using this command but as i said i'll be just worried about just one flow and i have this environment detail from here so i can just copy this and the flow name i can copy from here so we are good so we are just worried about one flow if you are worried about more than one flow then just choose this list my flows so it will list down all the flows then it will bind up that into a apply to each so multiple actions can be done so i'm just crossing this and going back to my invoke method so in the URI, I, URL, I'll be putting up this URL which we constructed. So now get request and the URL is this. So it will give me all the running instances. So I'll just save it so that we can see like what body or response body we are getting out of this. So I'll just trigger this manually for timing. And run a flow. We'll just see what we are getting. So this executed and in our output we got this. I just type back in notepad. We got this value and the name, the flow name. Uh, I mean like this is an instance name, running instance and you see if I just go to status, it's saying running status and there should be one more uh, status which should be in running status. This is the running status. So I got two instances which are in running status. So I can cancel these running st statuses in my next tab. And as you see, like I am getting all the data under this value. So I need to construct or make a apply to each loop for this value so that I can reach out and read both the items, both the instances. So I'll just add it this and I will use apply to each loop so that I can capture the instances and in apply to each I'll use body and I'll just copy body and go again to notepad. So I can just remove this extra characters and say value. So this value is actually give me the array of all my instances details. So I'll just close this one and go to my expression and have this paste here body invoke request and value. So now I got this and in the next tab I will be using again that power automate admin to cancel my flow so cancel my run so i would like to cancel this long running running instance i'll use this cancel flow run environment i'll choose my environment so this is a drop down i'll choose this one and you know like i i did use that flow store product approval so i'll just find out find out that flow yes this one and running instance, I'll just fetch the running instance from this body. So you saw that in previous tab, we got this value dot name is the instance name, which actually gives us the instance, the flow, flow instance ID. So we are going to use this one. So what I'll do, I'll just choose the apply to each current item 
because this current item gives gives me the value till this. And mm-hmm. now out of current item, I'll find want to find out name. I want to extract name, so I'll use current item. Copy this one, going to my notepad again, and removing this parenthesis and at the rate now saying name, and copy this and going to expression, pasting over here, done. So now this tab cancel run float tab will give me will cancel the flow based on this instance. So I'm just saving this. And we'll just do a quick test for it. And before that, I'll just give a name that cancel long running flow, long running instance. And I'll just go to test, continue and run. So if your flow is, is if your parent flow is having 500 more than 1000 instances running and you would like to cancel them. So just create this simple flow and cut out your entire manual work going within side flow and then canceling each and every step. So this flow would take care of all your long running instance cancellation. So you see like it applied bind it to cancel flow and got this inputs this the flow name and then running instance id if i go to my actual flow and if i just do a refresh you can see my both running instances are cancelled now so i have achieved this long long manual stuff uh, automation with this my power automate management stuff invoking one http request which gives me all the my flow instances id apply it to each to get into the actual instance and then canceling those so if you cancel this uh, flow so in next step what you can do you can again invoke the same request and resubmit these flows so why how what i'm saying is like you can just copy this operation and pasting it and this time you would just change the condition you need to just change the condition to cancelled so the all the flows which are cancelled it will give you that uh, all the instances those are cancelled so you can just again copy this apply to each and you can just paste this and this time this apply to each would be reading the value or the body from this second request invoke http request so all the cancelled flows only so i'll just delete this cancel operation because we are going to resubmit that cancelled flows and in the body i'll just pick the body which we got from this request the second invoke request i'll just go to notepad paste this remove parenthesis create this value and go to my this expression again and binding that and now from this power automate management i'll be choosing the action as resubmit my flow so i can type in the submit flow so it will again set check for this xmit my environment and then flow name And trigger name you can specify manual and in the instance you need to again use this current item this current item of second apply to each and copy this again paste this remove parenthesis just add dot name copy this expression put that in the expression and okay so now we have we are done like uh, all the cancelled instances will be resubmitted using this next set of steps. So I'm just saving it and we are going to do a testing on it. So I'm just going to run this manually again. So our workflow just ran 
and we can see like it found four instances which were cancelled yes because two are, are from earlier and two we have cancelled in our this demo itself so if I just go to my that store product flow and if I just find that you can see like my these four instances now again are running so that means the object is, is achieved the long running instances in bulk we can cancel we can resubmit them so and why the cancellation is required for long running the reason is like otherwise like the previous instances will keep on running and the new instances will be created if we resubmit without cancelling so that's why I did these two operations first to find out the running instances cancelling them in one shot and then rerunning re and resubmitting them and one more thing which I would like to highlight you is that in my this uh, resubmit flow you can see like trigger name earlier I used that uh, manual one but when I actually peeked into my code uh, in my flow it was when an item is created so the trigger name you have to keep in mind like what the trigger is for your actual flow just write that down so if I go to my flow you can see the first step is when an item is created and trigger name I have given when an item is created with underscores without spaces it doesn't accept the spaces so that's one quick thing which, uh, which uh, you should keep in your mind and that's it I think objective achieved so instead of if you wish to uh, run the same flow for fail instances you need not to just do any more thing you need to just go to your this flow and change this uh, the API call to status running so as status failed actually so I'll just show you so for failed status you need to just change the status filter as failed so it will give you all the failed instances so if your instances got failed by any reason then you can pick all the those instances and then rerun or resubmit those instances so this was pretty helpful for me for resubmitting my more than 500 instances and I hope like if you are working power, power automate then definitely it will be a scenario for you like where you wish to submit bulk instances again so if you like the video please do subscribe and drop your comments and